Welcome to the channel. In a previous video, we reviewed the Zimmer board, links in the description. A very powerful, compact, stylish, passively cooled, single board computer. In this video, we'll take you through a step-by-step -step instruction on how to factory reset your Zimmer board, just in case you have locked yourself out, or maybe are selling it, or even have installed an alternative operating system and want to revert it back to the CASA operating system that it came with. A word of caution, you will lose all your information stored on your Zimmer board as this process will wipe the internal eMMC storage and your Zimmer board will be back to as it came as when you purchased it, although maybe with a more recent operating system. This process will work on all currently sold versions of the Zimmer board, which are the 232, 432 and 832. So let's dive on in and walk through how to factory reset your Zimmer board. To get this to work, you will need your Zimmer board and power supply, a mini DVI cable so that you can view the video output from the Zimmer board, a LAN cable so that you can connect your Zimmer board to the internet, a USB mouse and keyboard to control your Zimmer board, a USB hub that you'll use to connect your keyboard and mouse, leaving a free USB port on your Zimmer board for the installation media an 8GB or more USB thumb drive to load your image, a copy of Bellina Etcher, which is free software that we'll use to flash our CASA OS onto our USB thumb drive, a separate Windows machine that we'll use to download the CASA OS image and flash to the USB thumb drive. The process we'll be walking through is documented on the Zimmerball website, links in the description. We'll be starting the process on your Windows machine. Now you can use a Mac for this process. The steps are the same, although there might be additional security steps about installing Bellina Etcher. We'll need to download the CASA OS image to your Windows machine, links in the description, but also available on the official website. The 216 Zimmer board is not sold anymore, so use the 432 and the 832 images for all versions. Save this to your downloads file. As this is already an ISO or image file, there is no other action required. Press the link for the Zimmerboard CASA OS image 832-432. Press the Downloads button. Google will not be able to process this at 3.6 gigabytes. Press Download anyway. Press the Save As button. Save this to your downloads directory. Now let's download Bellina Etcher. This will allow us to flash the iOS to the USB thumb drive. Navigate back to the Zimmerboard factory recovery website. Press the link for the Bellina Etcher. Now press the Downloads button. Select the version of Etcher for your type of machine. In my case, this is a Windows x86 installer and press download. There is no need to save the file. You can open it directly. The licensing agreement will pop up. Select I agree. The installation will start and when finished, will display the main page for Etcher. Now press flash from file. Navigate to your downloads directory and select the Zimmerboard iOS file and press open. Now insert your USB thumb drive. On the Bellina Etcher main page, press Select Target. Check the tick box next to your thumb drive and press Select. Now press Flash. Dependent on what permissions you have set on your machine, you might be asked to approve a user access control that will allow Etcher to write to your USB thumb drive. If this is the case, agree to proceed. The flashing process should only take a few minutes, but this will be dependent on the speed of your thumb drive. Once completed, remove your thumb drive and move to your Zimmer board. Insert your USB thumb drive into a free USB socket on your Zimmer board. Now insert the power for your Zimmer board. Repeatedly press Function 11 on the keyboard connected to your Zimmer board until this enters into the boot option screen. Select your USB thumb drive. This will begin with UEFI, usually followed by the manufacturer's name and model number, and press Enter. A clonezilla screen will be displayed. Select the first option. You'll be asked to select the destination disk for the CASA OS to be stored onto. Select and press enter for the MMC BLK0, which should be the top option. The flashing program will warn you twice that all data on the destination disk will be overwritten. Confirm Y for both prompts. The flashing process will now proceed. Once completed, you will be prompted as to what action you would like to perform next. Select Power Off and press enter. You can now remove your USB thumb drive from the Zimmer board. Remove the power plug and wait for 10 seconds and reinsert it. Your Zimmer board will restart and take you to the main page for your CASA OS, the same screen that you arrived on when you first powered it on. 
Now this process of flashing CASA OS to factory cover your Zimmer board is the same process to use if you want to flash any other operating system, such as Linux, OpenWRT, PFSense, Android, or even LibreElect, to name but a few. This is where the true power of the Zimmer board comes into its own. With its advanced and extensive features, combined with its flexibility, it truly does live up to its marketing tagline of the world's first hackable single board computer. If you don't have a Zim board already, then links in the description as to where you can buy one for immediate delivery. I hope you enjoyed the video and hit that like button and consider joining the ever-growing community of a smart home Australia. Subscribe and ding that bell to be advised when new content is uploaded. Until the next one, happy flashing.